Okay, say. What was in the nature of the most noble prophet that despite his own family member's aggression, he always saw the good in them? How can we try to follow you? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Who's saying he saw the good in them? He's always seeing the good in them. He's always reaching out to them. It's completely different. He's always reaching out to Hazrat Abu Lahab. Hazrat Abu Lahab. <laughs> he loved his uncle so much. Abu Lahab and Abu Jahil, he was loving them so much that he was still going to them over and over and over again, giving them that honor. You understand? They were doing everything to destroy him. He wasn't going to them because he said, oh, they were so nice to me one time. I see goodness in them, I want to bring. No, because it is an order, because he loves them. And it is his duty now to bring them into the truth. It is not to say that he did not see the evil or the uh, uh, ego or the shaitan. He does. Because today's people, they want to become so tolerant and so good that even if something is evil is coming to them, they say, oh, no, no, it's okay, I love you too. And you're going to say, I love you. I still see good in you. It is not that that one is saying, I'm better than him. But knowing that that one now, the way that he's living is representing shaitan, you have to turn your face away and you have to turn your heart away, even if it is your own family members. Only so far you can reach. They don't reach, you leave them alone. Holy Prophet ﷺ, he did that. He left them, not only he left them alone when they will not respond, he went to war with them. We're not saying go to war with your family members, don't, especially those ones. They are letting you now, respecting your religion, letting you to come for zikr. They are not criticizing you, nothing. They don't believe in Islam, leave it. It is not for you to try to change them. And don't fight with them. Because the mercy of Allah is very wide. You don't know how that one's heart is going to turn one day. Maybe that one is going to be better than you. You never know. Huh. In that kind of stuff, in that kind of uh, situation, you pull yourself back. So, Everyone now is saying, I'm speaking for the Prophet. Everyone now is saying, I'm speaking for Allah, meaning they declare themselves prophets, because only the Prophet is speaking for Allah. For over 1,400 years, there have always been strong uh, groups of people that they were coming together like the Sahabi Kiram came together, taking their role model from them, maybe making it a little bit bigger, a little bit like this or like that, changing, but the source is the same. And those are the people who have the right and the permission and the knowledge to speak for the Prophet. No one else. In the time of the Sahabis, not every Sahabi has the right to speak for the Prophet. Not every Sahabi now has even the right to interpret the Qur'an. Some of them, they were seeing Hazrat Jibrail, but they, can't, they do not have the right to interpret the Qur'an. Sahabis, today is Muslims, oh, everyone is interpreting according to their own head. There were only a handful of people who have that right. Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq was one of them. Hazrat Ibn Abbas was one of them, that they can now make tafsir, interpretation of the Qur'an. Today, anyone who is saying 
he has graduated from Islamic department anywhere, whether east or west, they come up with the Quran. Making interpretation, translation, and interpretation of the Quran. How far away are we now from what is real and what is truth? So, people are saying, declaring themselves now. I'm, you don't dare tell me what my religion is to everyone. I know what it is. They're saying, I follow only Allah. It's only me and Allah. So, this mission is pretty much complete. Dajjal has completed this mission because it's taught the Muslims that. Now, belonging to any Ahli Sunnah, belonging to any Mazhab, now, uh, even people following Mazhab, they want to follow their own desires. Even those who want to sing with Ahli Sunnah, protectors of the Sunnah, now they say Sunnah is not important. We don't protect the Sunnah, we protect our rights, they're going to say. So it's finished. Shia is finished a long time ago anyway. Now what? Sufi. Oh, don't let us get started on that. Pull yourself out from all this mess, inshallah. Follow someone who is there. Follow that one who asks you no fee and he's rightly guided. He's taking his guidance from continuous chain. Hold on and be simple. You will find safety, dunya and ahirat. Inshallah, may our Shaykh's feet always be on our necks. Fatiha.